Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Shine video. My name is Trevor Arcelescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. You can check out our website at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the 1932 Ford Roadster. This is an amazing model kit by AMT Ertl, and I built it back in the past. So without further ado, let's go down to our bench and see exactly what it looks like. Rather than just updating the Model A, Ford launched a completely new vehicle for 1932. The Model B was derived with as few technical changes as possible to keep the costs low. Model B Fords used an improved version of the 201 cubic inch L-head inline four-cylinder engine. Although there is a certain visual similarity with the predecessor Model A, the car was new. Other than the engine and the badging on the headlight, support bar, and hubcaps, it was virtually indistinguishable from the V8 Ford Model 18s of 1932. While the Model A has a simple frame with two straight longitudinal members, the new car got a longer wheelbase and an outward curved double drop chassis. The fuel tank was moved from its original location in the Model T's and Model A's behind the cowl to a new location in the lower rear of the car as is typical in modern vehicles. This required Ford to install an engine driven fuel pump forever ending its gravity feed system. We hope you're enjoying this video so far, our nice little look at the model car collection. And if you're looking for a great channel which showcases model cars, also talks about new releases and has unboxing videos, as well as tip and tech videos, if that's right up your alley, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. So now let's carry on with our great model car expose. The Model B Ford with its carryover Model A four-cylinder engine would have been a disaster, except for the fact that Ford couldn't produce enough of their new V8s. The 1932 Ford Model B had a 201 cubic inch L-head inline four engine with a manual three-speed sliding mesh transmission. The Model B had a 106 inch wheelbase, which is equal to 4.25 inches in 1 25th scale. The price of the 1932 Ford Model B Roadster was $490, which is equal to you paying $9,732 American dollars in 2021. The Model B was discontinued not because it was a bad car, but because buyers wanted the Ford Model 18 with a V8 engine. All 1932 Fords came with black fenders, wire wheels, and a rear-mounted spare wheel. The spare wheel was mounted on the side if a tailgate or luggage rack was equipped. This is one of AMT's oldest model kits, first appearing in 1959, and included a factory stock and street rod version. The model was reissued again in 1960, 1961 with new parts, 1964, 1973, 1976 as Reggie Jackson's Roadster in 1981, in 1983 from AMT Ertl, and in 1998 with the AMT Ertl Pro Shop series. There are no recent issues on the current market. Now here's a look at the box tops of those eras. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. It really means a lot to us. And if you're enjoying these great model cars, we want to offer you a special promo code where you can save a little bit off your next purchase at www.monster-hobbies.ca. Just enter the promo code YouTube so that we know that you watched this video on this channel and then got interested enough in our model cars to maybe pick up a few. So that promo code once again is YouTube over at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And here we have my build of the 1932 Ford Model B. Now this was built in the days before the internet. I think I was about 13 maybe at the time, I don't know. But if I had known that the fenders were black, that I could easily search it up on the web, I would not have painted them dark green. However, I did paint the body light green with the dark green pinstripes up here. Now the hood is removable, which we'll look at in a minute, and the rumble seat does open. The 1932 Ford Model B is the only model kit in the AMT 1932 Ford series that features the straight-four engine. 
Now here's the driver's side view of the engine block, and as you can see, it's really small, and it does go a long way down that firewall. It's the old four-cylinder from the Model A, just improved a bit on the inside. You got your four spark plugs there, a starter motor down below. Now there is no steering column coming down into here. There is an upper radiator hose, but the lower radiator hose, which is right here, does not actually connect to the bottom of the radiator as it should. Here we have the engine from the passenger side, and you can see the distributor up here, as well as our intake and exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold would exit down below, and we also have our updraft carburetor right there. Here we have a look at our simple interior. It's just basic firewall with an instrument panel here. I did manage to paint the gauges on there with the needles. There's our banjo-style steering wheel up there. And we also have our nice white upholstery with the gear shift lever right there. And looking at the interior from the front windshield, again you can see the nice upholstery and the folded down top. This model kit does not have a folded up boot. Here we have the nice operational rumble seat. And again this folds down and looks quite nice with the white upholstery. Out back we have our luggage rack and I do believe this is the only Ford model kit that has it from AMT. We also have my hand-painted license plate, which would look a lot better if I redid it with the computer now. From this angle, we can actually see the steps that lead up on the fenders to help people get into the back rumble seat compartment. Here we have the undercarriage of our Ford Model B, and the chassis and the exhaust pipe are all molded as one piece. And then the separate pieces are the front wishbone and the front axle, as well as our engine, which you build up fully and drop in. Now, when I was a kid, I accidentally made a mistake here, and you can see the seam line going up the engine block. This is from actually adzing those edges down with the hobby knife. And I do say now not to do that, to glue the two block halves together, then remove your seam lines. So this is what happens when you actually go the other way and try to remove seam lines on the block instead and then glue them together as two separate pieces. One thing I am missing here is the fuel tank, which covers up that hook in the back. I'm not sure what happened to it, but it's gone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my 1932 Ford Model B Roadster from AMT Ertl. And if you would like to help me in a future venture, I would sure like to build a model car museum that both showcases my model cars and my dad's. And these would all be putting the model cars into special scenes using figures and buildings and all kinds of other cool things. So if you would uh, like to do that, please click on that join button down below or become a member on our Patreon page. And I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So thank you once again for watching this great video and sticking with it to the end. And until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.